Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning back into my YouTube channel. This week's video, I am gonna show you how to do this makeup look. I love this look so much. I did it for the first time maybe a year ago when I first got the Alamar Cosmetics palette. It's such a beautiful palette. It has so many colors. You could do so much with this palette. And for that reason, I'm excited to show you what I can do with it. And I know I rushed in the last makeup video, so I'm really excited that I was able to get some time in today and film it for you guys. And quick disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist by any means, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try to explain it as best I can. And if you have any questions or you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. So if you wanna find out how I get this makeup look, keep watching. Okay, I know I look really crazy right now because I have my eyebrows done and I did go ahead and do one of the eyes. I wanted to make sure I got one of them out of the way so it wouldn't take too long. So I'm gonna show you on this eye every step that I did already. So I already primed my eye. Like I said, I did my eyebrows. So I normally prime with a concealer just cause it's a little stickier. And then I did set it with a translucent powder. And like I mentioned before, I am using the Alamar Cosmetics palette. The first color I'm gonna go into is Coco Taxi. And that's gonna be what they call a transition shade. I don't really know what that means. I'm assuming it's just to kind of bring all the colors together and blend it together. Don't mind the dogs or any construction or banging you might hear, it's just outside. And then next, I'm going into this deep orange color called Tropico. And you also want to make sure you have just like, just a plain brush. I know it doesn't look clean, but it's clean that you can just blend everything together with. So I'm building this all over the lid and then blending it with that clean brush I told you guys about. And don't worry about the fallout because we're gonna clean that up later and we're gonna hide it with foundation keep building it up until you get the consistency or the color that you really want. I'm going to go into this deep plum color. It's called Guantanamera. I'm going to go into that. So I'm going to put that and pack it on in the outer corner of my eye. and then blend it out. So what I like to do next is just get a little bit of concealer, like a tiny smidge. And where I'm gonna put my center color, the center lid um, color, I'm gonna just drop a little bit of concealer in the middle. This is just gonna help so it sticks a little and like makes it look a little more pigmented. So I'm gonna blend that out across the center of the lid. It also just cleans up the extra color and pigment from the other colors you were using. It makes it look a little cleaner. And now I'm going into La Costa with a clean finger. I'm gonna dip into that and like push it onto my lid. I find like with sparkly colors and stuff like this, it's a little easier for me to just use my finger than a brush because with the brush, it doesn't come off as pigmented. Right, I'm gonna add a 
little more to my outer corners. Okay, I'm still gonna come back to the eyes, but I wanna put on some foundation before I do that because a lot of it is gonna be in my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna dust off the fallout. And since I have primer already, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Looking real cute and dab that in with the beauty blender. I'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer just to help brighten up under my eyes, on my, the bridge of my nose, basically anywhere you would put highlighter on, I'm gonna brighten that with concealer. Next, I'm gonna go in with a liquid bronzer just to help obviously help my face match my neck. Now to set the liquid bronzer and the concealer, I'm going to use a translucent powder for the concealer. So I'm putting this white translucent powder anywhere that I put concealer on. Because we're going to contour today as well, a trick I've learned is to kind of just line your cheekbone, the bottom of your cheekbones with translucent powder just to give it that carved look. So I'm gonna do that right under where my contour is gonna go. And once again, we look a little crazy, but it's okay. While that powder is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring. Before we brush off the translucent powder, we're gonna bronze to kind of just bring the contour together so it's not too harsh. I'm gonna take like a big like powder brush and just clean off the white powder, the white translucent powder. So now to finish up the eyes, I'm going to do a pop of color and I'm going to do Celia and this that's like this emerald um, green I have here. I'm going to line my waterline with this just to give it a pop of color and give it a little more personality if you must. I'm gonna go in with a blush. And of course we need to have our highlighter. One thing I really like to do is add a little bit of highlighter right under the brow bone. Is it a brow bone? 
I don't know. That way it just gives it a little extra. So the dog was barking as I was recording this, but what I'm really just explaining is that the highlighter looks a little better compared to the other side where I haven't added highlighter under the brow bone. I just think it kind of brings your face together and adds a little more glow. Now, in my opinion, the best part is adding mascara because your look is never complete without mascara. I know a lot of people wait for the lipstick, but I am allergic to lipstick, so unfortunately I can never do lip colors. I like to start with a light mascara first to kind of just almost like a primer if you want to say for your lashes and then go in with a chunkier clumpier mascara to make it look a little longer and voluminous. I use like three mascaras when I apply. And then of course, once I'm done with my top lashes, I go ahead and add some on the bottom. Last step is setting spray because you cannot go out with a bomb makeup look without some setting spray to help lock it in. And another trick I like to do is just kind of use a beauty blender after I spray to just dab it all in. It kind of just melts everything together and doesn't make it look as harsh. All right, so there you have it. Like I said, I normally probably would pair like a nice nude lip to this, but because I'm allergic, I can and I don't want to break out in hives. So Vaseline is my go-to. A lot of fun filming this for you guys. I'm so glad I was able to get a good makeup look. If there's anything you want to see makeup related, please let me know. I'm still learning and I would love to learn with you. So feel free to give me more ideas and suggestions on what you want to see on this channel in regards to makeup. I will see you in the next video. Bye. What I really like to do is add a little bit of highlighter. Can you give me ice, please? Huh? Do you want ice in here, please? Do you want oatmeal or do you want 